Welcome to day 9 case markers. Starting with this lesson, we will learn how to use prepositional suffixes in Turkish. In this video lecture, we will learn about the dative, locative, ablative and accusative cases. These terminologies won't make sense to you now, but you will learn them today. It is important that you take notes of the terminologies I use in each lesson because I keep using them all the time in my lessons. Also, don't forget to download the cheat sheet for this lesson by visiting the link in the description below. Supporter members can also do the exercises for this lesson. The link is also in the video description below. You can learn more about being a supporter by visiting the link in the video description. When you're finished with this lesson, try to make some sentences with the case markers and the tenses that you have learned so far. I would like to see your progress and help you reach your goals with Turkish. Are you ready? Let's start! The dative case suffix is used to show motion towards something or someone. In Turkish, the dative case suffix can be used by adding the e, a to the end of a noun. These suffixes equal to the preposition to in English. Words with the last vowel a, ı, o, u take the ending a, whereas words with the last vowel e, i, ö, ü take the ending e. Esin okula gidiyor. Her gün işe araba sürüyorum. Bugün pazara gidiyor musun? Ayşe yarın İstanbul'a seyahat ediyor. In the last example, if you use a dative case suffix with a proper noun, you need to use an apostrophe between the noun and the suffix. Don't forget that some words have consonant mutation when a suffix is adding. Lütfen kitaba bak. Sözlüğe yazı yazıyor. Çocuğa şeker verdi. You might have noticed from the last two examples that sometimes a Turkish sentence with a dative case suffix may not equal to it having any preposition when translated into English. If a word ends in a vowel, we insert the buffer letter ye between the dative case suffix and the noun. Ayşe arabaya biniyor. Bu akşam partiye gidiyor musun? Question words like to where and to whom are also made by adding the dative case suffix to the end of the words nere and kim. Nereye gidiyorsun? Okula gidiyorum. Kime bakıyorsun? Ayşe'ye bakıyorum. Personal pronouns can also be used the dative case. Ben, bana, sen, sana, o, ona, biz, bize, siz, size, onlar, onlara. Let's see some examples. Baba bana oyuncak al. Teyzemler bize geliyor. Finally, the dative case can also be used with post positions of direction by changing it to a e a doğru, meaning towards, and e a kadar, meaning until or as far as. Üniversiteye doğru koşuyorum. Lütfen Cuma'ya kadar ödevini bitir. Bu otobüs Fatih'e kadar gidiyor. The locative case is used to indicate the place where the action occurs. It can also be used to indicate the time the action occurs. The locative case marker in Turkish is de, da, te, ta, which is usually in, at, on in English. Ben Ankara'da yaşıyorum. 
Her gün işte çok çalışıyorum. Ahmet arabada uyuyor. Kitapta ne yazıyor? Kedi ağaçta bekliyor. If you're going to use a personal suffix right after a noun with a locative case, we add the buffer letter y before the i personal suffix. Bugün evdeyim. Ben işteyim. Sen neredesin? Similarly to the dative case, the personal pronouns can also be followed by the locative case de da. Ben, bende, sen, sende, o, onda, biz, bizde, siz, sizde, onlar, onlarda. Evin anahtarı bende. Bugün sizde ne yapacağız? Onlarda kalem yok. We can also make locative question words. The words nerede meaning where and kimde meaning on whom or whose got are made by adding de suffix to nere and kim. Annem nerede? Kumanda kimde? We use the ablative case to talk about a point of departure, place of which, and indicating a comparison. The Turkish suffix for the ablative case is den, dan, ten, tan, which corresponds to from in English. Okuldan eve dönüyorum. Marketten bir şey istiyor musun? Benim arabam o arabadan daha güzel. Yağmurdan nefret ediyorum. Yorgunluktan başım ağrıyor. You can also make the question words from where and from whom by adding the ablative case suffix to the question words nere and kim, making them nereden and kimden. Nereden geldin? İstanbul'dan geldim. O hediye kimden? Arkadaşımdan. Nouns that are affected by the action of a verb use the accusative case. The accusative case is used to show the definite object of a verb. The accusative case can be found by answering the questions kimi meaning who and neyi meaning what. Ayşe gazete okuyor. Ayşe gazeteyi okuyor. Ben brokoli yemek istemiyorum. Ben brokoliyi yemek istemiyorum. Ben sandviç istiyorum. Ben sandviçi istiyorum. Don't forget to use the apostrophe with proper nouns. Dün Ahmet'i gördün mü? Ahmet Selin'i seviyor. Personal pronouns can also be followed by the accusative case. Ben, beni, sen, seni, o, onu, biz, bizi, siz, sizi, onlar, onları. Seni seviyorum. Bizi sakın unutma.